Hi guys, uh, I'm starting this project, it's gonna be a long term one, and it is to get onto 10 gigahertz long haul communications. So, uh, microwave, terrestrial communications, um, and uh, there's ARL uh, 10 gig and above contests that exist, and uh, I intend to participate. I said it's going to be a long term project because I'm really starting from scratch and I want to build some stuff. I don't want to buy the electronics and put them behind the dish and you know I really want instead to build as much as possible and make it work. Uh, so I'm not starting with nothing. I'm starting with this dish that I purchased in the Rochester, New York Hamfest about oh, 10 years ago I'd say. It's a 22 inch dish. This wall here, I'm pretty sure it's used to cut the side lobes, but it has, of course, because it's parallel to the, the radiation, it has no impact on the gain. It's just, I think, to contain uh, the side lobes and, of course, stop any, any interference from the side from reaching the feed point. So, to make this thing lighter, I'll probably cut uh, a portion of this. I'll leave uh, a little bit of it to preserve this, the dish's stiff stiffness, but I'll be removing uh, a good chunk, a few inches, just to reduce uh, the weight a little bit. So here are the dish uh, characteristics. So um, it's a, uh, well, uh, there, this is a specification at 24 gigahertz, but it, you know, the focus distance from the bottom of the dish to the, the focus point is independent of, of frequency of course so uh, it's six inches okay so that's the dimension six inches uh, the diameter is 22 inches the focal to um, diameter ratio is 0 0.27 and uh, while well, it's 10.8 10.5 inches from the bottom of the dish to the, the the border here but like I said I'm gonna remove a chunk of it the gain of the dish at three uh, 10 gigahertz 10.368 is supposedly 35 dB so that's a, a lot of gain so uh, maybe it will compensate for um, the weaker power that we normally use and the beam width uh, end to end is 5.8 degrees so 2.9 from center twice so beam width total 5.8 degrees of uh, beam width so um, yeah I think it's a pretty good dish and the other thing I want to mention is uh, the feed point itself already has uh, what it takes this is a feed point for uh, 10 gigahertz already designed for 10 gigahertz so it should uh, work very well uh, as it is. I don't believe I'm gonna have to modify anything that's already prepared for that. Let's look at the back of the dish now because uh, you'll see that it's a pretty complete dish. So this is, uh, like I said, the side wall, the dish itself. There's an, like an adapter, an extender, and this is the rear compartment. And uh, let's see how it's made. It's, as you can see, it's a, an enclosure, basically, on the back. This is the interface to uh, the uh, feed point. It's a waveguide, okay? It's a waveguide, it's a WR90, and it's good from 6 to 13 gigahertz, uh, this uh, WR90 waveguide. And um, so th this compartment here uh, is large enough to contain all the electronics. Hopefully it will be. I'm pretty sure it will be. And uh, what I have here between uh, the flange here and the cover, because there's a cover here that comes with it, and there's three three latches, okay, to hold the cover in place. It's one one point five inch of distance that I have, and one point five is enough to put a transition like a SMA transition to WR90 waveguide it's enough to put one so you can build one uh, easily with one inch and a quarter 
uh, so I'll have a quarter inch to the rear cover which would be more than enough and of course it will be SMA from that point on to the electronics inside uh, that dish I'm pretty sure I purchased it from WB2BYP back in around I'd say 2012 maybe 2013 but uh, that's presumably when he got hold of that dish August 99 so uh, if you want to see the uh, ident identification tag of that dish, yeah, it's uh, FM Microwave Telecom brand or model is MicroPass. So uh, it was uh, on uh, 23 gig. It was used on 23 gigahertz, but I will put it on 10 gig. Obviously, the feed point got changed. This is a 10 gigahertz feed point. And how I know that it's not a 23 gig feed point? Well, the WR90 dimensions for the waveguide, they pretty much decide what frequency we can throw in into this waveguide. It's WR90, there are tables, and I'll show you later, there are tables, and then you look at the dimensions, it tells you exactly what class of waveguide it is, and wr 90 is waveguide rectangular for the R, the waveguide rectangular and grade 90. And it's, like I mentioned before, it's from 6 to 13 gig, so it cannot be 24 gig with this feed point here. It's impossible. So I think it, it's, it's a dish that was recovered and uh, someone, maybe WB2BYP, uh, fit, fitted this uh, new uh, feed point uh, and uh, you know waveguide transition okay now for the mounting well there are two um, two large two big aluminum plates here this is aluminum of course right it's not uh, steel so it's light enough um, if you look here on the top of the dish it's written top so presumably this and it's pr I'm pretty sure it will if you look at the probes here they're horizontal so it like if you consider this to be like dipoles um, this will radiate horizontally here so what it means is that this plate here which is a side plate will be use useless I may leave it as a place to put some equi electronic equipment on the, uh, outside of the, the box maybe the IF rig or something to be seen but there's an identical plate right under that's the plate that's going to be used to mount a tripod so when the dish is positioned like this, we're in horizontal polarization, which is what we want. So that's uh, where I'm starting with this dish. And the first thing I'm going to do is not work on the electronics. It'll be to fabricate a um, transition here, waveguide to SMA transition. And that will be the subject of my next video. So all for now. See you later.